Today, me and this handsome fella want to show you how to do split screen using Wondershare Filmora 10 so you'll never have to cook alone again. I'm helping. Okay, so first off, I just want to apologize. I meant cloning, not split screen. They are different things. So this is a cloning tutorial. So before we jump into the software, I just want to give you a couple tips. And the one tip is very, very important. The other one's just kind of really helpful. The most important thing is to make sure that you have your camera locked off. Make sure that it is in a stationary position. It's not going to move. It is stuck where it is because any movement in the background is going to throw this off altogether for the split screen. Um, another thing is, is I use this wooden spatula to mark a um, line of separation so I know not to cross over on this side and then when I'm over here I know not to cross over on that side. Um, you can use whatever. I just happen to be cooking, um, cooking. I just happen to be shooting a cooking show right now and a wooden spatula just seemed to be fitting because it's in the kitchen and all that jazz. So you can use whatever. Um, you can put down gaffer's tape so you know not to cross over that if you don't have gaffer's tape like painter's tape or anything like that. But anyways, I'll show you why that's important when we get into the software right now. Okay, so we're in the software and what you want to do is get your footage, get it all cut. Like you'll see that I have it cut. So you want to pull your footage down from here and then take out what you don't need. Like, so when I film this, I just continuously film. I find that the easiest thing to do is just to film it, do that part, and then I move over to here and then have my reaction. Now a thing, a tip I should have given in that other part was to try to time it out in your head what you're saying. Like I know it's kind of hard when you're just thinking of what to say, but kind of like if you know how to keep a beat in music at all, try to try to do that as, as you're going. It'll help a lot for the other person who just does the reactions and you know if you're using this uh because of the pandemic and you don't have anyone to act out your comedic skits or something like that with then you know you have a script and you have to kind of go back and forth so it's actually a really good thing to do if you want to work on your acting skills because you have to then become a better uh, reactionary actor. So uh, anyways, enough of that jazz. Let's just get into this. And uh, I have all my footage already cut where I want it. I have it, um, <clears throat> have it all ready to go here. So I have this, which is my talking part, and then this, which is my reacting part. And you want them to be the same length. Uh, and otherwise you just kind of someone either randomly appears or disappears and it, it's kind of weird so just have them the same length get them how you want and you'll notice when i put this um, piece of footage up here it overtakes that other one it doesn't overwrite it just overtakes it so um you just have you know do that but there's a reason why you do this and i'll show you right now um, you want to do your cloning, you want to get rid of that, so you go to your effects, you go to mask, you go to image mask, and you bring it down over your footage. So you'll see here how it is like oval. You don't want it oval, so you just double click on this, and you go to video effects. If that's not, um, like, if it, that's not highlighted, then you <clears throat> just click on it so the check mark is there. So. Um, there's all sorts of different masks that you can use in here if you want to do like a star or a heart for whatever weird reason. Um, the, the choice is yours. These uh, little speech bubbles are kind of cool. Wondershare Filmora has, um, has one with a speech bubble that they did a tutorial on that that I thought was kind of cool. They're, they're neat, neat things to have. Um, there's all sorts of different ones. But anyways, the one that you want to use would be something like this if you're doing it side by side like I'm doing here. So you just double click that and you scroll down and you see your X axis here. You literally just slide that over and bam, you reappear. Go to about halfway through your mark. Um, if you keep going, then you just completely disappear. And well, that's weird, isn't it? So you go, like I use my spatula as the marker. So you go about halfway to there. Now a little tip that I will give you, and this is something that I should have done 
first is make sure that you color grade both of your footages. I don't know why this one, like on my right side here, I think it's because of the building that I'm shooting in. The sun is, <clears throat> it's a roundhouse on Ashcroft Indian Band Reserve. So there's lighting coming in from all sorts of different areas. And I've, I've struggled with the lighting on this. Um, I'm not that good at lighting either. So anyways, um, you'll see that you can see the split right there. And you want to try not to have that. So just color grade the footages to how you want so they'll look better. And literally that's it. That's all you have to do to, uh, to clone. It's just, you bring your effect down, you slide it over. You can use this, you can get rid of them. You can keep them there you slide it all the way over and then both are gone. And, um, yeah, that's that's literally it. And this is another reason why I absolutely love Wondershare Filmora 10 is is just to do a simple cloning like that. It makes it so much easier. It, it opens your possibilities as I was talking about of doing like comedy sketches. If if you don't have anyone to act with and you want to be both actors like an Eddie Murphy or a Adam Sandler type person or like a Tyler Perry, you got it right here. You can do it. You just have to learn how to react with yourself. Just practice, practice, practice doing it um obviously this isn't a shining example of what you should do but uh anyways um if you haven't tried wondershare filmora 10 check out the link in the description i personally think it's an amazing software it's it's great right now and it's only gonna get better so try it out don't forget to like subscribe and uh well i will see you later